Well, it is holiday travel season, but we are also approaching flu season, as you know. And we're not just talking about us people, humans. We're talking about our do dogs as well. This year, some added concern. This as a mystery canine illness has popped up, and it's causing a lot of concern. Fox 5's David Kaplan joins us live from Bethesda tonight. I know a lot of pet owners, David, watching are wondering, wow, has this thing made its way here to the DMV? Yeah, Angie, the answer to that is no. I checked around with a handful of animal shelters, veterinarians, municipalities. They all tell me they have not gotten any reports of this mystery illness that we have seen predominantly in some states. There have been reports in the Pacific Northwest and some states in New England. That said, I can tell you that everywhere that people are monitoring that but also trying to stay cognizant and aware of the sort of normal canine influenza that's something that we saw an outbreak of last year according to these reports though this mystery illness presents similar to kennel cough or influenza the difference here is that dogs can eventually develop pneumonia okay so it's not here Kaplan why are we talking about this well it's partly a reminder vets tell me that last year there were higher instances of the regular canine flu as well as kennel cough and we're in holiday travel season where people might be more likely to board pets. Fox 5 spoke with Eric Cryan with Nova Mobile Vet. He says, look, do an evaluation of your dog and think about where you may board them if you should board them at all. I would look for a place that has good, you know, disinfecting protocols, ideally a good air filtration system, one that checks that the other dogs are vaccinated. And most importantly, if a dog shows clinical signs as a client, you shouldn't bring your dog to a boarding facility. And, you know, uh, prudent boarding facilities that I, I know and recommend, you know, a dog shows clinical signs, they're not going to let them in the facility. So Cryan says on top of doing some research about where you may take your dog to also make sure that your dog is up to date on vaccinations. This kennel, uh, this boarding facility behind me, Bonjour, they require some vaccinations before a dog is brought in. As for this so-called normal canine influenza, I did check in with several municipalities who say they are starting to see some more cases of that thus far in the last couple of weeks. Right, a Angie. lot for us pet owners to keep in mind. David, thank you. <laughs>